Hello and welcome. We are in the game Dice Cycle to explore the second alternative story with the second girl. The number I rolled was two. Two, I see. I just want to know what possibilities lie in store for that girl. A jealous girl with an unfulfilled longing who in with unfulfilled longing who in despair wished for the ruin of others. I wonder what kind of potential had been lying in that girl. Well then, close your eyes. One morning, in the corner of the classroom, I'm sitting at my desk, reading a light novel, like I always do. You, that latest issue is a real winner. I was scared to buy the book based on the cover alone, but it was the right decision. The protagonist lives in a white place with four other girls. One day, they go to the underground cellar to get some food. And the story goes, it's the most interesting story I've ever read. It's got more than a couple of twists. When one is revealed, you'll see the previous parts in a completely new light. It's seriously awesome. I need to spread the word about it. What's up, Metaro? You're reading yet another light novel again today. And then my childhood friend Yukimaru strikes a conversation with me. You've come at the right time, Yukimaru. There is this thing I want to talk to you about. Ah, yes, yes, you're gonna say, buy this new issue again, aren't you? But uh, are you an Esper? You've said the same thing time and time again, so of course I can read your mind. But that's not the point here. I've got big news. Big news? Listen and be amazed. Oh, it's a bell. Oh well, you'll find out soon enough anyway. See you later. After saying that, Ikimaru went back to his seat. What energy even in morning. The teacher comes in and homeroom begins. Hmm? An unfamiliar woman is standing next to the teacher. Oh. 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 Look at that! A little reminder. The previous time it was a very different girl with a much larger eyes. Uh, yes, and uh, the story of her was that she was very jealous of one other girl and that other girl disappeared so she could take that other girl's place and I believe that right now uh, there was no substitution so they remained separate and this is the true girl well I, I hope it made sense what I have just said sorry if it didn't let's just continue with the story Starting from today, we have a new temporary teaching assistant. She'll be observing everyone's classes, so be nice to her. My name is Saiko, and I'll be working in this class as a teacher in training, starting from today. Until my last day here, I'm hoping to get to know you all a lot. I know I'm not the best, but please take care of me. What a beautiful person. A prim and proper sort of beauty, I should say. Not only the boys, but even the girls gasp at her beauty. I see, though this was what Yukimaru was talking about. I get excited at the thought that from today I'm going to be spending time in the company of such a beautiful woman. My eyes met with Psycho Sensei's. She laughed a bit and then quickly returned to her normal expression. But what was that just now? I'm just an otaku. I'm going to get the wrong idea about that, so please don't tease me, huh? I thought about it 
uh, some more when a memory surfaced within me. I remembered hearing the name Psycho before. That was, well, when I was still a little kid, I often played with an older girl in the neighborhood. Eventually she moved away, but she made a promise to me. She said, when I grow up, I'll become a teacher and teach Mechan how to study. That person's name was, if I remember correctly, Psycho. That's her name. Correct. You probably remembered me after all these years, didn't you, Mechan? Lunchtime in the staff room. I was summoned by Psycho Onichan, I mean Psycho Sensei, to have a friendly chat with her. I was really surprised. Sensei, you come out of nowhere. <laughs> I thought it surprised Mechan a bit. And yet, Mechan hasn't changed at all. You are still the same as I remember. What are you talking about? Can't you see I've grown up properly? I wonder if that's true. Next time I'll have to check it out. Various things, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Various things. <laughs> oh, are you talking about my IQ score? Or maybe some other measurement? Psycho Sensei smiled bewitchingly for a moment. Oh, oh, please stop. It's too stimulating for an otaku like me. I cough as I switch the topic. Anyway, your dream came true, didn't it, Sensei? You're so amazing, Psycho Onicha. Not at all, in fact, I'm just getting started. Because I'm still an intern and I can't really say I've made it happen until I've taught Machan how to study properly. So, Machan, can you wait just a little longer? Of course, I'll wait for you. Yeah, thanks, Mechan. The bell has run. I'd better get back now. Bye, Mechan. I'll see you later. You have to work hard in class this afternoon, too, okay? I know, I know. I'll see you later, Sensei. And so I left the staff room. A boy named Metaro left the staff room. After making sure that the door to the staff room was completely shut, I called out to her. Psycho. My best friend, my rival. The person I envied the most in the world. Kasane. Was the kid you are always talking about just now? Just now? Yeah, Machan. He is serious, caring and a very very sweet boy, isn't he cute? You really think so? He's not really my type. Ara, what a shame. But that's okay. I wouldn't be too happy if Machan was taken away by you, Kasane. I guess so. Just because he's not my type isn't a reason not to try. Really, I should try to tempt him just once. I wonder what kind of expression would be on Psycho's face. If I took him away from her, I'm quite curious about that. Well, having said that, it's not like I'm going to be serious at all. Psycho and I, who shared the same dream of being a teacher, both of us were visiting the school as interns. At one point, I even tried to get off this stage. Psycho was a perfect woman, which made me feel inferior when I was standing next to her. It was difficult to say the least. I didn't set out to be a teacher only to have such painful feelings. I was jealous, I was envious, I was alienated. It's strange that I am the only one who has to feel this way. So I thought that I should just disappear off to somewhere else. But then, one day, I had a sudden thought. Is, is this what I wanted? It's true that I'm an inferior person and that I may be worthless, abnormal existence. But just because it's true, does that mean it's enough of a reason for me to, go, to get off the stage? That's just fleeing from reality. Why should I give in? It's the world that's wrong. 
I had a dream, and that's why I was working so hard. If even that's lost, I've got nothing left. I didn't want to lose. I don't mind losing to Psycho, I'm no match for her, I know that much. She's perfect, so even if she looks down on me in her heart, that's okay. I didn't want to lose to myself, so I remained on the stage. And so now, here I am. Even if it's hard, even if it's painful, I'm going to achieve my dream. Well, I'd better get going. You'll have to properly introduce him ne to me next time. Yeah, of course. I had just packed up my stuff and was about to leave the staff room. Kasane. Psyche called me to stop. What is it? I'm happy to have made it this far with you, Kasane. So keep up the good work. Yeah, I know. You too. Having answered thus, I headed to the classroom. Excuse me? While I was walking down the hallway, someone spoke to me. I turned around, then... Here, you dropped this. The boy, Metaro-kun, was standing there with my pen case in his hand. Ara, thank you. I tried my best to pretend I didn't know him and said thank you. Class is about to start, why are you still here? Actually, the teacher gave me some errands to do, I'm on day duty today. I see, well, you'd better get going. I will. The conversation over, it looked like he was going to walk away. But for some reason, Metaro-kun stayed there, staring at me intently. What is it? Uh, no, that, um, Sensei, are you also an intern working here? Yes, I'm in charge of a different class than your class. Is that so? I see. Is that all? No, well, you know, it's funny that I'm talking about this to someone I just met. When I see people like you actually working hard like this, I just think it's amazing. Eh? Actually, I know someone who is also working here as a teaching assistant. I realize that the person has worked so hard to get to where they are today, and I thought that was amazing. I don't really have any dreams, I honestly don't know how to get serious about anything or how to work hard. I'm sure you've gone through some hardships and setbacks that I can't imagine. But from my point of view, you look really cool. I kinda admire it. Admire? Yes, wait, no, don't get the wrong idea. Please forget what I just said, Sensei. Well, I have to go... I, well, I have to go now, so good luck with your work. He said one-sidedly, and this time he walked away for good. Looking at his back, I remembered Saika's words. Yeah, Mechan, he's serious, caring, and a very, very sweet boy. Isn't he cute? Ah, he really, he really is. He was stupidly serious when he said those sappy words, so he probably really meant it. So I'm sure I'm an idiot as well for being so affected by those words. Admire, he said. The fact that he thought about me, that he felt that way, is fact is rea in reality. Uh, uh. I had always thought I was below average, nothing. That I'm someone who can't be anything, a worthless existence. Even so, I've been running and running, eager not to lose to myself. At the end of it, those words were waiting for me. I... At last, have I finally become... something? Hey, Psycho. I've always been so jealous of you, so fed up, so envious that I wanted you to disappear for years. But if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have taken it so seriously to say the least. And in that case, I'm grateful to you for that. Thank you, Psycho.
If end. Rewarded Rosemary. And that will be it for the goal number two. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.